The federal government said the closure of the Eco Bridge in Lagos for comprehensive rehabilitation was in order to prevent any danger to road users. Minister of Works and Housing, Babat Jide Fashola, who inspected the bridge, said while the federal government recognizes the strategic importance of the bridge, which links Lagos mainland to island, there is need to protect the public from any form of accident. This is just as the minister tasked the Lagos state government to immediately remove all residents trading and living on the bridges, disclosing that there had been series of fire incidents in several bridges in the state. He listed the various bridges that had been gutted by fire to include two sections of Eco Bridge, Marine Bridge at Apapa, Obalende, among others, describing the fire incident as one too many. We must, as a people, come to an understanding that uh, under bridges are not marketplaces. And we have reached a point where I think uh, the best words to describe it is tough love. Because if we do not show tough love, one day those columns are going to come down and they are going to kill people very, very extensively. I don't want to be here picking bodies, mangled and dead bodies, on that tonnage of concrete. But we are slowly getting close. So, we are reaching the point where we are telling the Lagos State Government now, you have our support, you have our encouragement, and we will work side by side with you to remove all the residents who use uh, under bridges as places of trading. They're not places of trading. Important for you, the pressmen and women, to also let people understand we are destroying our lives by the way we've decided to live our lives. So if you go and cook under a bridge, it's not that we are making money. So, but when we clear them, people will say you are denying people of their livelihood. It's not like that. It's that you don't live your own life by destroying other people's lives. Like we said, you can see, if these actions are not taken, this bridge will collapse. It will collapse and people will die. And you know, we all complain that it's traffic hold up. Well, see that we shut down a lot of this. That's why everybody's on Todd Mainland Bridge now. And there's massive, and it's not going to get better. So we must decide to live the right way. By May, uh, by May, we should reopen that part of the bridge back to traffic, yes.